Alright guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday, it means we're using uh, Cosmic e Bell. So, of course, Cosmic e Bell is definitely, most definitely one of the decks that will be uh, trying out uh, Nefarious Archfiend of Nefariousness. I really wish that monster was dark, I really do. With all my heart, I wish that card was dark because I'm just having a hard time trying to get it to do what it does because, you know, I, it's hard to get in the graveyard unless I draw it, you know? I drew it, awesome, so. You know, I just need to get Yvel in the graveyard and then have a way to revive it and then we can actually do some things with it, you know. I was hoping that by running out one that the, you know, the number generator would be, you know, kind enough to go ahead and, you know, give it to me. You know, because it's like, hey, it's at one, you got it, you always got to get it. So, I thought I was going to see it a lot more often than I've been seeing it. You know, this deck likes to generally give me other cards at one that are not Archfree in the fairy sense. Much more broken cards, you know. And I'll get Dark Hole and Geki and Soul Charge way more than I get in the face. I should have the The freaking DM the hell no, he can't get that card. That card's too damn strong. Alright. Battling Boxers. This should be interesting. I said, Battling Boxers aren't too difficult to handle. Alright, that's fine. You end your turn? Yep. Hmm. Nah, I'm just gonna take it a little slow. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get out of this situation. Completely get out of this situation. Completely get out of this situation. How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do that? Uh. Hmm. Bixie, 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 who do you want to summon? Uh, we'll summon Chi Wen. Three back row. It's gonna be a difficult one. I'm normal summon Armageddon Knight. Is that? Three back row, like ah, oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to push for it. I'm gonna try to push. I have G two face down. I'm gonna try to push. I'm gonna try to like, summon them again. I use the effect drop B bell X C into. I mean X C synchro. Hello, U S C says yesterday. This is synchro based deck. Synchro into Armades and try to run over the leg yoke. How does how does that work? How does that work? He doesn't activate his effect. Uh, so. Uh, Mades versus, uh, we'll go with Zen mains because they pretty much do the same thing. He prevents from activating his effect, but not negating. So, therefore... The monster would still be able to go ahead and detach, so and protect itself. I mean, these key red and prevent monsters from activating. Said not to gain much of its effect during the end phase, so it can destroy it. Okay, but the detach effect. All right, so he'll still get to the check. <sighs> no. Oh my God. Not really for those duels. They take forever. Oh my god. I said I can go for our mateys, but... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Sink 5. I'm not gonna go after the, the lead yoke, though. I'm gonna try to scare him into... Not doing anything. It's rental. All right. In fact, I'll go ahead and summon Ixie. Ah. Thanks. Uh, you don't summon, so you're at 3,000. It should be fun to deal with. 
Like I said, I'm hoping that the, you know, the, the Yang Zings will keep me afloat like they usually do. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And that's all I can do in this duel is hope. <laughs> Uh, generally what I do against battling boxes, they generally have the torrental, so, no surprise there. I'll go ahead and get my effect. Um, I summon in attack, I'm on, it has to be in attack position, but it has to have no, 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 it has to have attack in attack position. Get those two mixed up. You wanna run, run me over? I'm doing this on purpose. I'm definitely doing this on purpose. Porpoise? Porpoise. I do everything on porpoise. He's committing a lot to his, uh, plays. In top card, yeah, target battling monster in your graveyard for summoning defense space up defense position. So you're obviously gonna get veal. Veal? 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 Freaking cow meat. <laughs> I guess you're gonna see right into another lead yolk, because why not? Yep. Alright, another lead yolk. All right, got an oasis. Hmm. I'm thinking about paying some life points with soul charge, brook charge. I'm thinking about doing it. I want, I want you, I want you, I want you. Yeah, I think I might pay three thousand life points. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yep, I want three. Three soul charge. Okay. Or do you got the warning? Can I use Broke Charge? Can I use Broke Charge to, to fucking come back in this door because Broke Charge is broke? Broke any Broke Charge? Targeting, uh, Sua, uh, Jiao, Jia, and Yao. So I can't conduct my uh, battle phase, which is totally fine. So I summoned, and I'll take 3,000 life points. Totally worth it. Especially since I'm so damn floaty with this deck. Alright, I'm worried about him having the fucking uh, counter trap that blocks me. So, but what are you going to do, right? So I'll go ahead and sink 8. Go right into Baxia. Effect. Target your two folks and that unaffected by traps. Bixie effect. No, is that Bixie? Bixie, right? Yeah. I'm unaffected by traps, so... Okay. I can wait, but I'm unaffected by that breakthrough skill, so that's not gonna work. So... Okay. I'm chill. I'm really chill today. I didn't even have to go to freaking class. There is no class. So this is over. So... I'm chill. I'm time relaxed. I'm in some shit. It's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas, all right? <laughs> uh, I didn't do shit today. The only thing I got to do today is literally record. So, you know, so let's do this vitamin Y style. I said, I think this duel might be over depending on what that face down is because obviously I'm going to be so up on resources that he might as well just quit. Regis skill's not going to work, so 
Yeah, unless that face down card is A, your counter trap card that will block me, but I'm not sure how that works. I think it would just kill me. Big C. So, I'm not sure how that works, because I'm summoned to the field, then I'm unaffected by trap cards. But then if I use my effect, I'm still unaffected by trap cards. Despite you. Something about it being a counter trap kind of scares me, but I don't think it's... I'm, un I'm unaffected. I'm unaffected. If it was Solid Warning and I never hit the field, then I could understand. But I hit the field. I have to, I have to hit the field and to activate my effect. So, I've hit the field. I've resolved my Synchro Summon. Therefore, I'm activating my effect. So... Even if it is his counter trap card, I would just be unaffected by it. You know? So, effect, I'm gonna do you, you, and you. I already committed to this, you know? So, I'm not gonna be like, oh, nope, I'm gonna select the birthday skill because he changed it. No, 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 no. You. you shuffle that so like I said he's so down on resources it's not even funny so he might as well scoop and then we can get an, another duel in because I used three different uh, attributes I used fire I used water and I used dark so I get three bounces three spins actually bounce I'm only saying bounce because I'm bouncing Lego but it actually spins yeah which is very, very powerful. Three spins, very powerful. So, of course, summoning you battle pack with Soul Charge. My effect is not negated. Not. So, what I'm going to do, since I have not normal summon this turn, I'm actually going to normal summon Nefarious Archfiend of Nefariousness. I'm going to set this in phase uh, Rebel Effect. Spots. If you want to negate me with Breakthrough Skill, then go right ahead. Awesome, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Go. <laughs> like, you know the effect for me to have to tribute one of my own monsters. Do you want to negate me? Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, it's too hilarious. Too fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Alright, what do I want to do right now? Trying to figure out what I want to do right now. I can actually just go for another freaking uh, play, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. My Aramades is already dead, which makes me sad because I would really like him on the field. So <sighs> I can summon Suwani, use Baxia effect on uh, Suwani. Destroy Sawani to summon another Yang Zing. Summon Jiao too. Yeah, then I can synchro. And then Sawani effect. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep, then I can synchro summon with you. Alright. So. Summon Big C. Uh, da, 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 da. I got numbers all over the place. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Alright. I'm going to use Baxia effect. Target. Um, uh, Suwani and, uh, Gia, Gia, alright, so, you destroyed, and then you get summoned, Sua effect, go ahead and summon, uh, god damn it, I'm out of fucking, uh, uh, Bixies, okay. I'm out of Bixies. If I had a fucking Bixie. You can only do that on your turn. Read the bottom of the card. During your turn. Nigga. Nigga. Right there. First three words. First three words. Hello? During your turn. During your turn. During your turn. During your turn. <laughs> right there. Right there. I don't need to cheat you and beat you, sir. Right there. During your turn. So like I was saying. Exactly. 
Exactly. During your turn. <laughs> During your turn. You don't read it. You, you're copying and pasting it like it's right here. But it's the first three words. I don't give a shit about this bottom part. During your turn. <laughs> That's the funny thing, because fucking break this, yo, this is not the first time that this has fucking happened. <sighs> Who am I summoning? And of course I cannot summon Suwani. If I can summon Suwani, hell yeah, I would go for fucking Leo, but I can't. I can go for Miss Worm. Yeah, I can go for Miss Worm. I don't want to go for Miss Worm. Man. <laughs> I could sig for seven. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to summon Chuan. Yep, I'm gonna summon Chi one. I could actually go for freaking Star Eater with you, Bell. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Uh, no, no, no. I want Yazi. I want Yazi. No, I want Goyo Guardian. Hello? Sync six. Six plus. Just, just six. I, I accidentally hit the plus key. Six plus. Everything higher than six. Six plus. Six plus. Oh yeah, Garden. Uh, da 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 da. I, I, I want to kill you and I want to take you. Because I want you. You see, because I like you and I want you. We could go for Yazi, but. Stop. Thank you. I don't have any force. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I didn't attack with fucking Baxia. Oops, wasn't paying attention. Uh, da 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 I'm not bad. I'm doing bad. I didn't get the attack yet. I didn't set the call of the haunted. What the fuck am I doing? I'm so I'm so en enticed and distracted. My future plays that I'm not even thinking about my current plays. I'm like ah, oh, I might go into a star eater. Ooh, I might fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of things that I can do. Ooh, the top deck. <laughs> that top deck rota. That's fine. I can still handle this situation just fine. Mm hmm. True attack anyone. Uh, Baxia is 2800 sewer effect. You take an additional... You're 22, I'm 28, so you take 500 more. Alright. So now you are at 3,000. That is cool. 3,000. 3,000. How do I handle this situation? Alright, I can do a lot of things, actually. What would I do for a Klondock bar is also another question I like to be asked. Alright. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner worm type monsters. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just, just gonna go for um, Moonlight. Yep, Moonlight. Yep, Moonlight. Moonlight, yep. Sync, seven. Yep, Moonlight. Effect. Bounce that. Yep, Moonlight. Moonlight Rose Dragon. So good. Yep. And this card special summon, which it is, because it's synchro summon. I can target one special summon monster my opponent controls and turns to the hand. I would like to get rid of that Ledio, please. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. 
I'm going to summon Chi Wen because I'm not normal summon. I'm going to use uh, Baxia Fet, target Chi Wen and Sua. So you're dead. You get summoned. Chi effect. Chi 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 Chi. Summon you. Alright. So. 16. 19, 24, and then that's game. Ch -ch 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 -chia. There we go. That wasn't so bad, now was it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode. That was, that was fun. That was fun. Alright, so, uh, what won me that duel? Definitely Soul Charge. You bell just sitting there on the field. I I could have used um uh, uh the other the one time that I could have used the face I seen the face don't even use them. <laughs> That's funny. I used them as a synchro material, but not if, not for anything else. That's funny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call up. So so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Lime and Y. It's fun to have you bucks season and have Cosmic Gear with the synchro deck. So it's like it's even synchro. So uh, of course tomorrow I'm gonna be using that supervise. So that should be fun. You know. It's back to its old ways with lots of revivals, so as long as you don't run anything too difficult, it should be fun. You know, it's a synchro deck, it's just not as uh, synchro based as this deck. You know, it's more like a, a Doom Shaman deck, but it's still fun. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with Supervisor Bell. Alright, thanks for watching.